Another part that's important in considering in structural member properties is the chemical makeup of the materials that you have made your object from. One of them is called the modulus of elasticity. The ratio of the increment of some specified form of stress to the increment of some specified form of strain is the modulus of elasticity. This defines the stiffness of an object related to the material chemical properties. And if we get to it, we will do a um, lesson on stress versus strain graphs and we'll actually take some metal and we will break it and we will learn the difference what's what exactly this modulus of elasticity does. But right now it's just a number that defines the stiffness of the material in relation to the chemical properties. A higher modulus of elasticity produces a greater resistance to deformation. Again, the higher the number, the greater, the more likely we are to resist deformation. So modulus of elasticity, let's look at this. We have um, beam A here and beam B, so now the same orientation. We're just going to have beam A is made from Douglas fir and beam B is made from ABS plastic. So what distinguishes them from each other? It's not their orientation this time. It is what they're made of. So will beam A or beam B have a greater resistance to bending? Do you think Douglas fir or ABS plastic will reduce bending, will resist bending more? My guess is A. Okay, so Let's check this out. Why did B have a greater deformation than A? The difference is in the material's modulus of elasticity. It's the ability of a material to deform and return back to its original shape. Characteristics of objects that affect deflection, and deflection is really the change, this triangle right here means change, in position. So the difference Uh, is um, how much this will move and come back to its original position. Again, we're going to apply a force or a load on each one, and so the amount of force or load that you put on it matters, and then also the length of the span between the supports. Do we support it here and here, or do we support it at the end, so how long this beam is makes a difference. And then of course modulus of elasticity and moment of inertia play a role. So if we want to calculate how much this beam is going to deflect when I stand on top of it, how much it's going to move down, bend down when I stand on top of it, then um, this is the formula that we're going to use. This means beam deflection, how much it's going to change, is equal to the force that we put to it, the length of the beam or the length in between the supports because I could support it closer to the middle if I like, and then 48 times the modulus of elasticity times the moment of inertia. So let's calculate beam deflection for the Douglas fir. So the amount of force that I'm going to apply is 250 pounds of force. <coughs> if it's 8 feet in length, then I'm going to use 96 inches. And the reason I'm choosing to use inches for my length is because I've got this moment of inertia that I have told you is measured in inches to the fourth. So I need this up here to be also be in inches. And then, oh, and also our modulus of elasticity is 1,800,000 PSI. PSI stands for pounds per square inch. So I will put in 48. My modulus of elasticity is here. And then the moment of inertia that I've already calculated. So the most that this beam will deflect is 12 hundredths of an inch. Now let's calculate it for the ABS plastic same formula. I am applying the same load, 250 pounds. It is an 8 foot beam, so I still have 96 inches. Um, my modulus of elasticity is different now. It is uh, 419,000 psi, pounds per square inch. And then I um, am going to put in my modulus of elasticity, or moment of inertia. 
And now this beam, when I stand on it, it deflects almost half an inch. So that's now we can tell the difference between the plastic beam and the Douglas fir beam. So the m amount of deflection for A is only 12 hundredths of an inch. The amount of deflection for B is 53 hundredths of an inch. And so because of the plastic and the thing that was changed was our modulus of elasticity, because of the elastic property of plastic, it's going to deform more than the Douglas fir. So we have less deflection here, about a little more than four times less deflection on the wood than on the plastic. So that is beam deflection and also moment of inertia. And so now we want you to practice these formulas by completing the beam deflection activity as a group and working on find calculating moments of inertia um, on the worksheet.